Russia had been planning to launch a new front in Ukraine from the Kursk Oblast. Before Kyiv's incursion into the region, Ukraine's commander-in-chief, General Oleksandr Syrsky, told CNN. In August 2024, Ukrainian forces stormed into Kursk Oblast, which signaled that despite Russia's advantage in personnel and equipment, its military has vulnerabilities. It reduced the threat of an enemy offensive. We prevented them from acting. We moved the fighting to the enemy's territory so that the enemy could feel what we feel every day, Sirsky said. The key objectives behind the Kursk operation were to prevent Russia from using the region as a launch pad for a new offensive, divert Moscow's forces from another part of the front line, create a security zone and stop Russian shelling of border settlements. His claims came amid a Russian offensive on the Pokrovsk front, considered to be the hottest spot of the war. Sirsky told CNN that despite the assaults, Ukrainian troops have now managed to stall the Russian advances there. Over the last six days, the enemy hasn't advanced a single meter in the Pokrovsk direction. In other words, our strategy is working, he explained. In addition, Sirsky said that the amount of artillery shelling and their intensity have decreased lately. However, Ukraine still faces challenges during the battles as Russia has significantly more weapons compared to Kyiv troops. The enemy does have an advantage in aviation, in missiles, in artillery, in the amount of ammunition they use, of course, in personnel, tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, Sirsky added. Due to the halt of military equipment, Ukrainian soldiers are heading to the battlefield after receiving less training than he'd like them to. As a result, some operations are failing. The operation of the Ukrainian armed forces in Kursk proves to the world that Russia can lose the war against Ukraine, stated Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. According to the president, he listened to a report from the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sirsky. They discussed the Pokrovsk direction and the Ukrainian military operation in the Kursk region. We are holding our defined positions and with each day of the Kursk operation, we prove to the world that Russia can lose this war. The only thing needed for this is our determination and the determination of everyone in the world who influences global affairs. It is not for Moscow to determine the future of our people. And this is how it must always be, Zelensky emphasized. Since the beginning of August, Ukrainian forces have been conducting an offensive operation in the Kursk region. So far, Ukraine has taken control of over 100 settlements in the region. Since August 6, Ukrainian soldiers have occupied dozens of Russian villages on more than 1,000 square kilometers and are digging in to repel an imminent Russian counteroffensive. Pokrovsk, the administrative center of a heavily industrialist agglomeration with a pre-war population of almost 400,000, is likely to be taken over by advancing Russian troops soon. They are less than 10 kilometers east of it, and keep inching in every minute after months of heavy bombardment and meat marches, frontal attacks on Ukrainian positions that have cost Russian generals tens of thousands of servicemen. The depopulated town and several highways and railways it straddles have served as a crucial logistical hub for the Ukrainian military, and their takeover may burst the front line open and become a propaganda triumph for the Kremlin. Along eastern Ukraine's sprawling front line, however, the Russian army has been notching up territorial gains, cutting deeper towards the city of Pokrovsk in Donetsk province, a crucial supply and reinforcement hub for Ukraine's frontline troops, and claiming the capture of a nearby village, according to France 24. Before the attack on Kursk, the Russians were advancing in Donbass on seven fronts. Now they are stuck in Pokrovsk, their troops are moving from other directions to Kursk, the source of channel said that Moscow's troops have moved to within 10 kilometers of the strategic city, the UK's military intelligence reported on Monday as Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky conceded that the situation on the ground was difficult. While the Kursk offensive did force Russia to redeploy troops from parts of the front line, analysts caution, those movements did not affect the battle for Pokrovsk. In fact, Russian operations are now solely concentrated in the Pokrovsk region, said Gustav Gressel, a Ukraine war analyst at the European Council on Foreign Relations, adding that Moscow's forces were kind of freezing other fronts. Before the Kursk offensive, the Russians were advancing on seven fronts in the Donbass, added Husein Aliyev, a Ukraine war expert at the University of Glasgow. And now it's only Pokrovsk, while some troops elsewhere are being redeployed to Kursk. Such maneuvers suggest there has indeed been a Kursk effect in the Donbass. 
The trouble for Kiev is that the effect is not being felt where it matters most.